More than 20 years ago, Nintendo released the game console Nintendo 64. It's not only a pioneer for 64 bit computing of consumer electronics, but the joystick and the triggers on its gamepad were also the first for a device like that. Things are moving fast today. The 240 pixels output of the original N64 is no longer acceptable. Is there any way to make it produce a high definition output? My answer definitely is yes. We're gonna look at the game console called Warrior 64. Both the console and AC adapter are making it similar to the original N64. It only works when the cartridges are plugged in. Then it produces HDMI output onto your television. It comes from a company called Intech Gaming. Generally speaking, it uses the original motherboard of N64, but comes with HDMI output, redesigned custom case, and gamepad. Honestly, we have an HDMI output solution of N64 on the market. For example, the Ultra HDMI N64, a complete set of units priced at $160, but you need to assemble it by yourself. For gamers who want to play right out of the box, obviously, it's not the best option. More importantly, the console is not mass produced and it seems to be sold out now. Warrior 64 is also available in a complete kit, which is cheaper, but the units are very tiny. Take it into account, I chose the one without the need to install. This plastic clear green case is quite cheap. It also comes with dual controllers. It's basically similar to the layout of the Nintendo 64. This gamepad is relatively small than I've tried before, and it feels nice in my hands. Without further ado, let's get into the device. First, we need to plug the AC adapter into the socket, and now we choose the HDTV output port here to plug the HDMI cable. Today we're gonna play the original cartridges on the Warrior 64 console. We have Kirby 64 and Mario Kart 64. Plug it in the game console and push down the on button. It's time to play. The output is up to 712 pixels. I'm quite satisfied with the resolution. It has a brighter and saturated color. Maybe it's not perfect, it's not as good as Ultra HDMI N64, which supports 1080 pixels HDMI output, but it feels not bad. I feel like it's 1996 again, you know. I'm playing the cartridges on an old system. Here's a question. How old were you in the year N64 was released? There's a switch to adjust the output aspect we showed below the HDMI port. It has 4 to 3 and 16 to 9 for choosing. I think the scaling of 4 to 3 is better without a stretch. Compared to the original N64 controller, the placement of its joystick and D-pad have been exchanged. It's suited to our current usage habits, but I'm not a big fan of the joystick. It's far inferior to some modern analog joysticks. It doesn't have decent feedback. Warrior 64 provides brand new visual feedback to the users, which is based on a traditional home game console. It feels pretty interesting, as I have the new Nintendo 64. Okay, this video is come to an end. Do you have any story about Nintendo 64 to tell? Leave your comments below the video. Bye.